Folks, welcome back. Our garlic butter roasted crab has been in the oven for about 15 minutes. And folks, voila, look at that. Isn't that unbelievable? You know, the only disappointment I have is that it's not a secret anymore. You now know the recipe. You can do our signature garlic butter roasted crab at home. But we're going to let this sit here for just a minute and uh, cool down for a moment. And we're going to go over here to this cute dish. Now, uh, this we're going to put a nice cold crab on. And I want to transport this right over here. And this makes a great little hors d'oeuvre. And folks, here we are. We have our nice uh, uh, cold steamed crab. And I have a little bit of garlic butter and some cocktail sauce. And, and isn't this, this dish cute here? I have this little crab bowl right here that I picked up at the store. I thought it was just absolutely adorable. And I was so excited to be able to use it today for this particular dish here. So here is a cold Dungeness crab. We have our signature garlic butter roasted crab that's sitting right over here. We're going to take and plate that up with some nice green leaf lettuce. Uh, that looks wonderful. Boy, nice and fresh. All right, one more piece. And our nice butter garlic roasted crab. You can see the caramelization of the, uh, of the nice garlic there. We're going to take and just pour this right just like this here. Oh, man. That is amazing. Boy, you'll eat like a king when you come down to uh, Isabella's restaurant, or you could cook it at home, but folks... There it is, our garlic butter roasted Dungeness crab. It doesn't get any better than that. All right. Okay. Now, the um, crab that we're going to take right now, because a lot of people like just steamed crab. I mean, we've done an Asian crab. We've done a garlic butter roasted crab. We've done a cold crab. But, you know, a lot of people like just plain steamed crab. So we're going to take and just, uh, uh, I have some salted water. Now, don't forget the crab have already been cooked, so all we're going to do is just warm it up. Now, I have a little bit of a tip, all right? Um, if you are in a hurry, like a lot of people are, and you don't have a whole lot of time to cook, you can take that crab and you can actually put it in the microwave and it comes out absolutely fantastic. Now, we don't do that in our restaurants, but you can do that at home. Uh, it works out really well. It gives it a nice, nice uh, steam and heat texture and it doesn't dry the crab out. So definitely take opportunity if you're in a hurry to take and just steam it or take and put it in the microwave, whichever one works out best for you. Okay, well, like I said, the uh, crab doesn't take a lot of time to cook. As you can see, the steam's already coming off. And we're going to take and just move that right over into our plate. Look at that. Nice, hot, steamed crab. Now, that didn't take no time at all. We'll take and do a little bit of garnish with these pretty orchids that we have here. And you can use your favorite dipping sauces. There's mango sauces. There's cocktail sauce. There is uh, uh, butters that you can use, different types of butters. So uh, here we go. We have hot steamed crab. We have our garlic butter roasted crab, our Asian crab. And uh, in just a moment, we're going to make my dinner tonight, which is going to be soft shell crab with a red pepper sauce. And uh, it is one uh, unbelievable. You can actually eat the whole crab. It's kind of a miniature Dungeness crab, and it's really fantastic. So uh, I hope you'll stick around for that. And uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break in just a moment. So uh, go check out some more of my restaurants. And when we come back, uh, we'll finish up our final dish for the day. Thank you so much. See you in just a second. Bye-bye. <laughs> 